Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Stacy, and this is Stacy Lee Beauty. And today I am doing a first impressions of OA Anti Wrinkle Silicone Patches. So the company did reach out to me and provided this to me complimentary. And I want to say thank you so much. And they are sponsoring this video. So excited. Um, but yes, but my opinions are my own. They did not tell me what to say or anything like that. So I just wanted to put that out there. And yes, we're going to do first impressions. And then at the end of the video, I will come back and tell you my final thoughts on my first impression. I'm going to jump to no makeup and trying these out. I wanted to try this just during the day. I wasn't sure if I'd like it overnight and I wanted to make sure I didn't have any type of reactions or anything to it. So later on, I will keep using these. I want to do these at least 15 times as they say that you should be able to with proper care. And then I will do a follow up on these. But here is what the packet looks like. Oh yay. Hope I'm saying that right. Skin patches. Packet retails for $69.99. They do have a variety of different configuration patches on their website. This is the all-in-one where you get all of the patches. I do have a discount code though for 10% off. If at the end of this video you are interested in trying it out yourself, I will put that up on the screen. It is I M S T A C I Y T. It does have the batch code on here and six months shelf life. This is designed in the US but manufactured in China. So you want to make sure that you've your your face and skin is completely dry. So if you've done any skincare or anything like that, wait till it's dry and then you're gonna use these. Okay, so this says our patches are the fastest and safest way to achieve anti-aging effects. They encourage hydration and collagen production to naturally plump your skin. They say that theirs has four layers. The upper layer is for flexibility. The next is a hydrating effect. Then you have more of the silicone with the longer durability. And the bottom is an embossed dot seal for, ad for advanced adhesion. So on their website, I'll put out that image right now. They do say that theirs is 70% thicker than other brands. When they reached out to me, I did my research before saying yes, that I wanted to try these out. And I did see that there are many cheaper versions out there. So I thought, well, what is the difference? I don't have the ones from like AliExpress or some of the other brands that are much cheaper, but from what I could find online, there is a difference. So number one is if you look at the fine print, these are silicone with an E and the ones that I could find online that are much cheaper says it's silica gel, which silica usually is from silicon, which is without the E. So I'm not a biologist or anything like that, but from my research, these is this is the main difference. So the silicone, like these masks, is a synthetic substance. The silicon without the E, which is also referred to as silica, is better known as quartz. And it's most common component of sand. So that's one thing. And then the other one is this, they did say that theirs is thicker. So what I did was, since I don't have any other ones, I looked at the grams that were listed on the cheaper version versus the grams for this kit. And on the cheaper version, the silica gel ones, they totaled 113 grams for the complete package. And these total 140 grams weight. So these are definitely thicker. What I'm going to do is you they give you the little instruction booklet here. You want to cleanse and dry your skin fully before use. So my skin is dry to have the patches sit for at least one hour to see the full benefits. And they say they recommend leaving overnight for long lasting results. What I'm going to do is start with my chest. Okay, you want to make sure that you keep this portion because that's what you're going to, after you walk clean it, or after you rinse it, that's what you're going to stick it back to. So here is what it looks like if you can see the thickness up close. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look over here in the mirror and I just want to make sure that my skin is, is as smooth as possible. Put this on, it just peels right off. And I'm just going to smooth it over my skin, make sure it's all smooth. And you probably could go a little bit higher if you wanted to, but oh, make sure that there's no hair if you have long hair. So that is nice and smooth. I am going to do the neck one last because I don't know if you believe in reincarnation or anything like that, but <clears throat> I always wonder if in my past life or something, Something happened around my neck area because I don't really like chokers or I, and if I wear turtlenecks a lot, I can only wear them for a short time and pull on them. So I'm not sure how long I'll be able to um, stand this one on my neck. So that's gonna go on last. Do forehead next. And it says that how these work, they're ultra hydrating. So when it attaches to the skin, it forms a microclimate between the patch and the skin, ultimately creating a occlusion effort effect on your skin so this effect minimizes water loss from your skin moisture in your skin helps the skin its outermost layer to build a barrier against any potential harmful effects on your skin sorry that kind of probably sounds like a mouthful but i didn't really know how else to say that without just reading it off so then here is the forehead that you're or here is the forehead the eyes and the smile lines and again, I'm gonna have to look down in my mirror because I wanna make sure that I'm not creasing my forehead or anything as I'm putting these on. They're very easy to put on. I'm just rubbing it on, make sure that everything is smooth and flat. And they do state that this is medical grade silicone, that this has been tested to use in medical applications. Now I'm going to do under the eyes. And they are easy enough to pull up. If you get the wrong placement, you can pull them up again and reposition. So my area for my eyes that I feel like really needs the help is my crow's feet. So I'm making sure that I'm putting it over here so that it covers the crow's feet. And as I was placing it down, I just was pressing down to make sure that there's no wrinkles over here. So, when I look on the website, it looks like maybe these are a little bit higher up over here, but I, this is how I'm gonna put mine because I wanna get the crow's feet and I felt like if I tried to get it up like to more of this shape to go up more, then it was causing a wrinkle there. So I think with the eye shapes, you know, probably just kind of look at what area, like do you wanna work more on your crow's feet or more over here? and just make sure that you have it flat and that you're not causing any wrinkles instead of trying to get that shape to be, you know, follow under and up. 
it's not sticking the most to my 11s my skin is always really dry there so I don't know if that is making a difference or not but okay now we're gonna go to the smile lines we love that people smile but we don't necessarily like the lines I don't have too big a problem with my smile lines, so but always can start with that. So what happens with these? I'm going to put up an image on the screen right now. You have wrinkled dry skin. So your skin naturally loses moisture and elasticity. That's what causes the dryness and the formation of wrinkles. What happens is this microclimate draws in moisture from the lower layers of the skin for deep hydration but it also is letting your skin breathe. It increases the blood flow to purify your skin, and then that gives you a healthy, useful glow. The end result is rejuvenated skin. It's left more hydrated and stronger than before, which makes it be smoother and brighter complexion. And when I'm going back over it, it, like they're sticking. The reason I'm doing that is just to make sure that my skin is smooth underneath there. Because you don't want to have wrinkles, like causing wrinkles. It feels kind of weird. I did not know that at age 20, your collagen levels start to begin to do the decline. Like that is not fun by age 20. Oof. So I can see why there would be an appeal to do these overnight because you can definitely feel them on. Like they don't feel like they're gonna fall and they don't feel tight or pulling, but you can feel like you have something on. Okay, now let's do this neck one and see. I don't know if I'll be able to stand it. But... You can definitely see that the chest one for sure would be good to sleep with because a lot, I sleep on my side and a lot of times when I wake up I have like little wrinkles here so that one would definitely be good don't know if I could I probably would do the chest and the forehead I feel like the eyes might kind of bug me overnight but we'll see So I'm just kind of starting in the middle because again I don't want to cause any more wrinkles I want it to be smooth and pushing it out make sure you get your hair out of the way so I'm just kind of not pulling on my skin but just making sure it's tight okay it's not as bad as I was thinking it would be since I have issues with things on my neck but I definitely don't think I could do this one overnight just for me personally because of my I don't know what it is like does anyone else have any experiences like that where you have no reason for that but that's why I feel like maybe it was a past life thing okay so here we are I'm all all uh silicone patched up oh Okay, I do have anxiety too. So just something to think about. I didn't even give this a thought when I was, you know, looking at this, but I can feel my tight tightness in my chest just a little bit. And it probably is just from anxiety, kind of, not that I have anxiety over this, but if you have anxiety, if you've suffered from it, you know what I mean. Like it's not from this, but just sometimes having something like, on your chest I don't know if I'm making any sense but so I'm not sure about these the neck and the chest one I'm not sure how long I'll leave those on but we'll see I think that these might have to be ones that I kind of like work up to leaving on longer and go from there but I will be back okay I am back it has been about maybe 10 minutes since I've had on the full all of them and as expected I am just the neck one is kind of bugging me so I definitely think that I'm going to have to work my way up to wearing this one longer if you 
don't mind chokers or turtlenecks. I don't think that you would have a problem with this, but if you're a person, I don't know if other people are like me, that you don't like to wear chokers or tight turtlenecks, then just kind of keep that in mind that you probably will have to kind of work your way up to wearing this one longer. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off for now, but I wanted to show you just on a little bit of wearing it a tiny amount of time pretty much just to see how it comes off and if there is any differences just in that short amount of time. Our reusable, like I mentioned before, after each session, if you rinse with cold water and allow the patches to dry sticky site up, and then you place them back on the film. So I'm just gonna peel this off and it does not hurt coming off at all. Kind of looks like it's pulling, but it doesn't feel like it is. I'm just gonna set that sticky side up so that then I can rinse that off. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take a picture and then I will do side by side comparisons to see just in a short amount of time if we can see any difference with this. But I think I've had this on about 20 minutes and it's not irritating my skin or anything. There's no itching, but I feel like I can feel it on and I'm just feeling a little bit of tightness around my chest. Again, it's not from this. I know it's from my, I mean, it's from this, but it's from my anxiety and it's just been kind of ramped up lately. So I'm not sure why exactly, but just kind of keep that in mind if you do suffer from anxiety, that it may be, again, this part may be something that you have to work your way up to. And it may be because I've never done any kind of masking here. So like the face I'm used to, but these, my neck and chest I've never done before. So just the fact that there's something new is probably what it is. I'm definitely going to keep trying these and just wear them a little bit longer each time. And then I will report back either here in a recap video or over on Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the chest one off. Again, it's been, it's been about 25 minutes closing in on a half hour so not the optimal time but again I just kind of want to see um, how it comes off <laughs> so I'm just gonna take that off and again this is not peeling or anything I'm just kind of putting this pulling the art it's not pulling my skin or anything and here is what that looks like so again I will do the same thing insert some pictures Okay, so it has been a little bit over an hour and we're going to take these off. So I'm going to start with the eyes and just so that it doesn't pull at the skin at all, I'm just going to kind of hold my skin as I pull them, but it's not hurting. You can definitely feel it pull a little bit more than the neck and the chest one just because that area is a little bit more tender. But it didn't hurt and again after I get these off I will insert pictures side by side of before and after I don't know if I personally would I would have to work my way up to leaving those on overnight as well I didn't really think that I was sensitive to that to that stuff but I think a little bit okay it does feel smoother there I think again that's only an hour a little over but I think a little bit okay and I did reposition this one just to make sure that it was touching that just so there wasn't any like gaps of the skin right there to cause any wrinkles and I know that these are silicone so you might be concerned like I am yes you can reuse them but after you reuse them you know what about are they just gonna go into the landfill so I was looking at some ways that you can repurpose or upcycle silicone patches. And one thing was like these bigger pieces, especially the neck piece, if you want to try that, I haven't tried it, but when I'm done with the uses, I will try it. But you know how you can use like a mouse pad or anything if a jar is stuck and then you can kind of put that on top of the jar and that just kind of grips it enough to open that. So I was thinking that you could try that with one of the larger patches and it may be kind of weird, so I don't know if this would work, but you know, when they're done, either you could put them together so that there's sticky, no stickiness, or maybe after the 15 times, they won't be sticky at all. And 
maybe you could try to take like nail polish or something and paint them or oh what you could do maybe is if there's a little bit of stickiness left and you have old um, makeup you know maybe you make a design or something in there then you could put these two together and then just maybe use as a bookmark again I might try these let me know if you want to try these want me to try these and show you because this is unproven this was just ideas and another thing you know how sometimes like pencils or pins um sometimes they like this one it comes with this area right here you know you could maybe um if there's enough stickiness left you could wrap these around this so then that way you're using it that way that way that way hmm I do feel like it looks smoother when, when I took that off. So you wouldn't want to do these like right before you're going to leave the house or, you know, if you were going to have an evening with someone or something, um, you wouldn't want to do these right before because as you can see, like there is a little bit of lines on the edges here. So just kind of keep that in mind. I'm sure that those will go away. So let me know if you can think of any other ways that you could upcycle these because I'm sure that there's more ideas out there. I think that for me personally, the only one right away that I'd be able to um, wear overnight is probably the forehead one because I didn't feel that one at all. And maybe the smile lines one because I didn't feel that one at all either. Um, okay. I mean, obviously I feel like you have to probably, it would be good to do them overnight to see, but I feel like my forehead, we'll see with the before and after pictures, but it feels like it's more firm. So I'll, we'll see with the pictures, of course. But, um, so the eye ones, I probably would have to work my way up to that too. Um, so for me, I think overnight right away, I could do the forehead and the smile lines. If you've never done patches like this, I never had before. Just kind of keep that in mind. I would recommend maybe not the first time out saying, oh, I'm going to wear these overnight. Just kind of try it during the day when you're not um, going anywhere or you have, you know, hours and you don't need to put any makeup on or anything. I would say just try it that way. Or like if you're going to take a bath, maybe before you get in the bath, because it just seems like maybe kind of work your way into it maybe. And it's kind of gross, but that's what it looks like when I took it off. So that is why... You need to wash these. We'll insert some pictures, but here's some close-ups. And what I will do is I'm going to do some chores around the house and then I will check back in with you guys and let you know how long these marks lasted and how long it kind of feels it kind of tighter. Not tighter, um, but like yeah, a little tighter, just like kind of stuck in a little bit tighter, uh, plumper. I'll let you know how long that lasts or and see if we can tell a difference in some few hours. All right, and ta-da, makeup done. <laughs> um, so I will say that, you know how I had just said that there was some marks all around the edges? Those went away in about an hour. And I don't think that I left the chest and neck one on really long enough to see really, I got to look at the pictures, but it didn't feel like they were really that any difference. The smile lines, I don't have a lot going on there that I need to be corrected. And about, I left them on, you know, a little bit over an hour and it maybe was a little bit plumper, but I didn't see a huge difference there on first time. So, but the two that I really liked, I mean, the chest I think will be good if I can work my way up to having it on longer, but the under eye and the forehead, my skin is very dry and I really could feel a difference when I took those off. And it's been about four hours since you last saw me and I still feel, obviously I have makeup on now, but I still feel like my forehead is more taut and kind of tight. Like it doesn't feel like that tight pulling, but it just feels like taut. Um, and 
very smooth, much smoother. And my under eye right here definitely felt smoother and still feels smoother. And I feel like when I was putting on my concealer, it just, it blended better. So really, really like the forehead and the under eyes. The forehead, I definitely need help there. So I'm going to continue for sure to use that one. And that and the eyes, I feel like right now I could wear those overnight and be fine with them. The smile lines too. I feel So basically the face, I feel like I could wear overnight and not have a problem. Just the neck and the chest uh, the, for my own like anxiety ridden issues. <laughs> um, not because the product was bad or anything, but I definitely just need to work my way up to those. But yeah, like even now as I'm talking, I just feel like my forehead is still like tighter. I don't know if and when I move like that, I've never had Botox or anything like that. So I can't say how it compares to how you would feel if you have that, but I am really impressed. So what I recommend, my, so my final first impression thoughts are, I would highly recommend if you have 11s or, you know, the wrinkle lines on your forehead, a forehead patch one, the eye one, I would recommend the smile lines are still I think the jury's still out because I didn't see a huge difference from that but I feel like luckily my smile lines aren't really that bad so it's hard to say on there I am going to have my mom she's in her 70s have her try these out since they are reusable and you can wash them and I will report back um, either on my recap video or on Instagram how she found them but and the neck and chest, I would say, I would recommend if you're somebody who doesn't mind wearing chokers or turtlenecks, um, if you are like me and you do not like chokers or turtlenecks, like I said, just, you know, maybe start with 30 minutes and kind of work your way up. I didn't bug me so bad that I'm not going to use them again. I'm just going to not leave them on as long as I will the face ones. And, um... Like right here, it does feel smooth and soft. The neck, I don't think I had the neck on long enough to really do anything. I think, yeah, this like definitely is smooth right here. I hope that that was helpful if you were on the fence about it and that the before and after pictures were helpful. But I am very happy that I got to try it. You know, I didn't really know anything about these silicone patches. I had kind of seen commercials here and there on YouTube and thought, hmm, I don't know. So they were definitely on my radar to research and kind of look into. So I felt really happy when the company reached out because it's like, oh, I, I wanted to know more about them. And like I said, I think that even though these are more expensive than some of the other ones online because of the thickness and this is silicone and that silica gel, I you know feel like that is a big difference. Um, it's your own personal preference of how big of a difference you think that is for the price difference. They are, I wash them, they're drying right now, very easy to wash. And all, oh, and I will probably, yes, I'm gonna update for sure over on my Facebook group. So following me in part of my group, I would love for you to join me over on that page. It is Stacy Lee Beauty. I will have that link down below. Thank you so much for letting me try these and I will keep you updated, but very happy. And I really, really like the forehead ones, like those and the eye, the forehead, I would rank them the forehead, the eyes, the smile, chest, and then the neck for me. Those are how I would rank them as favorite. So hopefully if you were like me and you kind of started to see these commercials and thought, what is this all this silicone patches like what is that all about and hopefully this video was helpful for you if you have any questions please leave them down below and i will do my best to answer them if i have to reach out to the company or look up something more i will do my best to answer them so if you have a question leave it down below and thank you so much for watching and i hope that if you're not already subscribed you will hit that subscribe button it is free to do and it does help out my channel and that you will come on back. I put out new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So thank you. Bye.